drilled a hole in my man. Like Helmut Lang archive here. You know, like David Kosova. What else? Yeah, when it was like. Uh, yeah, when Rick and Kiko. Yeah. Okay. New Kiko women's bag. Thoughts? I thought it was leather. Also, interesting pattern. It's just right. mad hard to open. Pretty hard to like put in. Oh, look, it's pockets on the strap. Also, mm. I would like this in leather. I think. These are nice. I thought this was the front before, but it's the back. Wait, what? Oh no! Yeah. I thought this was the front um, the first time I saw it. When you saw them yesterday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and this is the long version of the Mino jacket. So it's the same. Interesting. Like, overlapping. But pocket. it's on the bottom. Yeah, it's on the bottom. The back has this kind of oh. wing like design, if you will. Yeah. Pretty dope. How many pockets in one fit? <laughs> On the run, I think where the straps are, they wear the jacket open and the strap is tight. Ah, oh, cinched kind of. Yeah. It's almost sleeved. Dude, the fabric is so. Mm -hmm. I'll try the back side. <laughs> It looks good. Yeah. Good size. We're at Colbo. Hello. <laughs> Bro. So this is like the only store in New York, I think, that stocks Ed Manor. Wherever that may be. I didn't even know they were the only one. Yeah. Cinch yeah. yeah. How much is it? Do you like it? It's cute. Oh, it's kind of nice. It's just like a peacoat kind of vibe. Sex. Cashmere. Yeah. Let me see this. I think it's like Issei. This one in here. Jeez. Reminds me of a uh, baked good. It starts out a pretty simple pattern. It's a symmetrical size, and then there's holes that are drilled through throughout the whole leather. And I use like copper rivets that I hammer by hand to keep this pinch. Um, and then it forms that symmetric shape. It has a little magnet closure with a lining pocket on the inside, right here. Um, I think the cowl is much easier to work with than this one, just because of how like, stiff this one is by nature. Um, although I do love how this looks, and when you put a light behind this, you know, you see that translucent. You know, the light's a little dim, but 
it's really fun leather to work with. Um, it's pretty new technology too. Mm -hmm. So, and that leads into this wallet, which is the same material as, as this. The outsides and like the sides of the hide usually has a more kind of veiny texture to it. So it, it looks really smooth here, but then towards the outside, it picks up its veininess. So I like to keep the inside um, you know, relatively smooth, and that way you can see your cards through it. Card holders, it's got the money slot fit in here with like an expandable pocket. You know, I'm more of like a big wallet person. I have a lot of stuff to carry and for me this is more practical, but I wanted to make, you know, a more minimal version, standard card holder. You know, it's got a slot on the inside. And as you can see, you know, you get the little G showing through. So this one is much more translucent. When it's more veiny like this, I would say it's harder to see through it. So the smoother it is, the, mm. the more transitioned it is. And yeah, what I love about it is the color is not consistent. It's kind of fades, it's black, it's green, it's gray, like it's irregularity. Like, exactly. Yeah. Every single piece of this translucent leather I get is completely different. And the tannery isn't even they have the same process every time for making the leather, mm -hmm. but each time they do it, it comes out slightly different. Right. Which, you know, I really like, and I feel like it yeah, makes like the product feel more original. You know, yeah, each one is individual, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there's no, like, true duplicates. This leather is sort of the same, but it's a little bit more standardized. This is the bag I think I've gotten the most attention for overall. The combat utility purse. It's got magnetic pockets throughout. I really like the sound that it makes when it just falls. So yeah. um, got a card holder, you know, lipstick, chapstick pockets, cigarette pocket for lighter, uh, pen slots, zipper pocket. Reminds me of like a old camera exactly. uh, compartment. My you know? uncle used to wear this one belt, like a utility belt that had all of these kind of magnetic pockets. Oh. I want to tap into that to make this. Um, I, I love utility in fashion. I like carrying something that I can just put all of my stuff in. Um, so that's what inspired this bag. It's got the, this is also out of the chances, of course. The back side is pleated, and then you have like a main compartment on the inside. This bag is probably 30 hours of So, you know, I have to be able to price that high for it to be on my toes. I was gonna say too for this bag, like I feel like the price is super reasonable. I wanted to kind of you know undercut this general luxury market, and I feel like I'm a new designer and my goal is to get as many products out as I can. And then the cool thing about this bag too, it has a detachable strap, so I can take it off on both sides. It has like a Cobrax snap hook which grips it. But I advertise this as being like a, basically like a, a melee weapon. So, you know, let's say you're you're out of the way, you're in a sticky situation, you just pop it off. Bro. You know, this thing is bro, bro. <laughs> yeah, Did not skip on a single quality detail. No bro. materials. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. These snaps are so good. Like almost ten dollars per, per snap. So it's like the sliding ones too, exactly. right? Yeah. So I was initially using the regular snap and I felt like you know if I'm carrying a lot of weight in this bag. More this secure. This is way more secure. That's one of my favorite parts about that. Yeah. Really Such a small yeah. detail but like makes yeah. a huge difference. It does, it does. And I feel like you know there's so much detail already here. I couldn't just put like a very simple bit of it. I feel like it needed to be elevated throughout mm -hmm. the whole time. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it with this bag. I wish people could feel just this Maybe alone. <laughs> Heavy. Heavy. And then, I think the last... So yeah, these are also, these are Gloria's designs. I'm not sure if you've met her, but this, she's awesome. This yeah. Same. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Amazing yeah. stuff. Um, and I like that our stuff is next to each other too. Mm -hmm. I feel like they, they come, they're, not all, they're not the same, but they, they complement each right. other well, I think. Um, and yeah, this bag. It's got the it's an oxidized steel strap. It's a twisted leather draw cord. And basically, you know, if I untie it, I can just open it all the way up, put whatever in it. And this one has no lining, so you can you can literally see your belongings through the bag. Which I wanted to do that without using like a I don't know, some sort of like a nylon or polyester completely translucent. I wanted it to be leather, but still have that kind of nature of transparency. 
Um, but yeah, this one, I would say this bag and the cow test are like most reasonably priced bags. Um, do you mind showing us your jacket? Oh, yeah. So this jacket, it, same zipper pull as the purse. Um, but it basically gathers all the way around. It has like a high neck to It has two interior pockets. So, you know, you put your wallet, whatever you want in here. Two wealth pockets here. And I'll show you how it looks up. I have a lot of stuff in these pockets here. That's a little more beautiful. But yeah. So good. It's gonna come soon. I'm gonna need one of these, not gonna lie. Which one? Applied art forms. No. It's like a cold play. One of the members mm. started a brand. Which one? Which member? The basis, I think. Okay. Dude. Very cool. Military. Okay, boom. Oh, I didn't know. Not a lot of pieces. But... Yeah. Very uh, nice spacey. Mm hmm. Is that navy? Yes. It appears. What do you think? Oh. Contraption. Boy. That's nice. I don't think it's really your style. Yeah, I don't think it's... I, I can appreciate it, yeah. but... It's not my personal style, I think. Oh yeah, I saw this when we came in. Nice. Right. What size is it? Yeah. I kind of just take whatever's on the rack. And well, I feel like when things are not form fitting or a bit oversized, a lot of different sizes work. Yeah, yeah. I like it too. It's like, I feel like it's smarter. Yeah. For your vibe, but I like it. I like the, yeah, even the lining is like suit type lining. Mm -hmm. Same brand. Same, like everything, same fabric. But I think because you have your Gabriella Cole oh, I'm blazer, blazer, that's the best yeah. one. One up, I figured I'd go through some of my most worn items lately since it's finally fall and it's cooling down quite a bit. This is a black merle zip up hooded jacket that I got at the Commune pop-up. Not sure what they're planning on doing next in terms of a physical space, but for a first time pop-up, I think they absolutely killed it. But ever since I picked this up, this has been one of my most worn tops. It's made of a Japanese silk linen fabric that has a very nice slubby texture. The bottom hem has a raw edge, which has frayed quite a bit since I've worn it so much. And I took out the drawstring at the hood. With every kind of zip up hoodie I have that has a drawstring, I take it out. I think it just looks a lot cleaner. Also has zipper front pockets 
and the sleeve cuffs have an adjustable opening with two snap buttons. Next top slash outer layer is the kimono dyed Vujade overshirt. I've been waiting to get my hands on this ever since I tried on the sample when I was back in Tokyo. It's made of alpaca wool with a partial cupro lining. Very, very comfortable. MM6 Margiela layered denim with this sort of creased faded effect throughout the legs. Main thing I really like with these is the fit and that the wash is still pretty subtle. Um, these have a bit of stretch to them, so they're very comfortable, but I would still say they're on the structured side, which I like. The back also has the signature MM6 white stitching, the kimono dyed divisor cargos, 14 ounce Japanese denim. So the fabric is super substantial, big cargo pockets, perfect fit. Very versatile as well. Yeah, I've owned these cargos for like less than a month and they are by far my most worn pants. All right, lastly, real quickly, Doc Martens 1461 Bex Studded Derbies. Uh, I got these for like 80 bucks, I'd say. And I colored in the stitching so it's not yellow. Didn't do a great job, but I mean, can't really tell. The Bex, I believe, is the version with a thicker sole. So if you're looking for a pair of affordable derbies with a thicker outsole, uh, feel free to look into these. I can't say they're the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn, but they get the job done and they go with pretty much everything. So that this is one of the early usages of this is very fatty white fish and sometimes it's cold. They don't sweet but not like as sweet as amazing. Yeah. How does that happen? It's not. So, it's, it's like oh, it's still it's, 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 it's like it's gonna fall out the base if I let go. I'm going in. <laughs> 